Butterworth Laboratories is one of the UK's leading independent providers of contract analytical chemistry services. The company was started in 1974 by Doris Butterworth. She saw that the reliance on classical analytical chemistry was about to be changed by the introduction of new instrumental techniques. We set up with the help of uh, one of the instrument manufacturers. Um, these were instruments which had just been developed and were the coming thing. The key to the company's growth has been to successfully approach companies to outsource their testing work to Butterworth. Maintaining an analytical laboratory is very expensive. If you've got testing that you're not doing on an, a routine basis, it makes far more sense to outsource it to a laboratory that is, is doing it regularly with trained staff, with uh, equipment that's fully qualified. It'll actually save them money in the long run. In the early days, most of the work Butterworth carried out was elemental microanalysis. As this niche market declined, the company diversified into environmental analysis. Over time, it saw the potential in pharmaceutical analysis, and now 90% of its work is in support of the pharmaceutical and related industries. This evolution reflects the company's ability to adapt to changing trends in the market. We're not scared of change. I think one thing that, uh, if you look at our history, you'll see that uh, we've taken opportunity to, to get into new markets um, at the right time. Um, it's part of the survival of, of, of small companies or smaller companies to be able to do that. Butterworth currently employs over 40 people in its 10,000 square foot laboratory. A far cry from its earliest days when Doris Butterworth employed just one assistant, working out of a tiny premises on Teddington High Street. Today, given the nature of the different outsourcing work it does for clients, training of staff is of primary importance. Training is quite complex, so we provide a very, very complex, multi-layered training system. Uh, we also attempt, wherever possible, to try and send staff out on external training courses. Um, new management uh, positions uh, are accompanied with uh, management courses. Uh, and also we provide very specific training uh, from equipment manufacturers in new pieces of kit we have and also user meetings etc. This level of training promotes and enhances trust between Butterworth and its clients. Many of the biggest names in the pharmaceutical business rely on Butterworth for method development and validation, stability and routine quality control testing. The work that we're doing is critical for the, the, the safety of the end product. A lot of the work we're doing is uh, for the pharmaceutical industry. That, that means we're testing uh, materials that are either going into the manufacture of tablets or maybe tablets themselves. And those tablets will be taken by patients. So it's important that the testing is done to the highest standard and that the customer trusts us to deliver that, that quality. Another way that trust is built up is through ongoing communication with clients. Butterworth takes the attitude that clients are more than just names on a job sheet. They are partners in the testing work Butterworth carries out. The company has a policy of open communication with the clients. I feel that's beneficial to me as well as the client uh, in that we can communicate on a one-to-one -one basis. I can share my expertise with them and I can advise them as to how uh, I think the work should progress. And of course uh, they can uh, come back to me and we can uh, try and sort out their problems. Part of the reason for the communication uh, and building up those good relationships with the customer is so the customer feels very, very comfortable using us as a, as a laboratory. Um, we might not be at the end of their corridor, but it certainly should feel like we are an extension of, of their own laboratories. Butterworth is committed to improving relationships with clients. It believes this is one of the key differentiators between itself and its competitors. We've got to be constantly aware of, uh, of what our customers uh, need. Um, to that respect, we have a business development team that constantly go out, speak to our customers, find out what they need, make sure we're delivering the services that they want. And if there are new uh, services that are, c are coming online or new techniques, then we, we look at those and decide whether there's a commercial value to us. Uh, and if so, that's something we will invest in. One piece of instrumentation it's invested in is an ICP mass spectrometer. 
This will allow us to detect metals down to much lower detection limits than previously possible. And we bought that in mainly uh, because we, we saw the need of the industry to achieve these lower detection limits. Already we're seeing interest in this technique, although it's only a draft method at this time, customers are already starting to adopt it. So we want to be there at the beginning to offer this service. The, the equipment is very expensive to purchase and to run and it's, it's one of those pieces of equipment where it makes much more sense to outsource the analysis rather than uh, attempt to do it in-house. Doris Butterworth has fiercely maintained the company's independent status and it's this independence which has allowed the company to keep changing and adapting over the years. She remains very much at the helm of the company she started in 1974 and she's very clear why Butterworth Laboratories continues to be successful today. If you look back 35 years, that was a totally, totally different world. If we tried to stay in that world, we would have gone long, long ago. No, we've changed and I would think even five years brings a change and we should go on changing. I have no idea what's going to happen in the next, uh, I shan't be around for 35 years, but who knows, I intend to be around for some time and it will change again and we shall change, we shall change with it.